Mr. Beat presents Supreme Court Briefs. The District of Columbia, March 2nd, 1801. President John Adams just has a couple of days left in office, but he's been pretty busy making last-minute appointments for his Federalist friends to important positions. It's basically a mad rush to get them in before the new president, his arch-enemy Thomas Jefferson, takes over. He nominates 23 justices of the peace, basically judges in lower courts, in Washington County. One of those nominated was a dude named William Marbury. Like Adams, Marbury Marbury was a Federalist who talked a lot of trash about Jefferson when he ran against Adams before the election of 1800. Even though Adams nominated Marbury and the other 22 folks, and even though the Senate approved their nomination on March 3rd, and even though later that day Adams signed the commissions, which were basically the final order so they could get to work, several of them didn't get the job. Wait, what? Why? Well, John Marshall, the acting Secretary of State for President Adams, did not deliver those commissions on time. Hey, speaking of little John, my friend Jack Rackham Well, hello! made a video about him over on his channel. Be sure to check out his video when you're done watching this one. Okay, back to the story. At noon the next day, March 4th, Thomas Jefferson officially took over as president. He instructed his Secretary of State, James Madison, to only deliver those commissions to some of the nominees, you know, the ones he liked. One of the people who never got his commission was William Marbury. Yeah, Jefferson didn't like him. Marbury was like, that's messed up, man. I was promised that job. He wanted to force Madison to deliver that commission. So he petitioned the Supreme Court to hear the case, and the court actually said, sure, let's do this. They heard arguments on February 11th, 1803. Oh, guess what? By this time, John Marshall was Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Wait a second, isn't that a conflict of interest? Shouldn't Marshall recuse himself from making a decision for the c- nah. Four of the six justices on the court discussed three big questions for this case. Number one, should Marbury and the other Justice of the Peace nominees get the jobs they were promised? Number two, can they even sue in court to get their jobs? Number three, hold up, does the Supreme Court even have the authority to say they could have their jobs? The court announced their decision on February 24th, 1803. All four sided with Marbury. They thought Marbury deserved that position and thought, yeah, he should be able to sue to get it. However, hold up, Madison kind of won too. Because the law that enabled Marbury to sue to begin with, the Judiciary Act of 1789, was actually unconstitutional because it gave the Supreme Court more power than the Constitution allowed. Wait, so the Supreme Court decided to weaken their own power? Huh? Well, not exactly. You see, John Marshall knew what he was doing. He pretty much did this. He had the long term in mind, baby. While the court gave up power by declaring the Judiciary Act unconstitutional, they also gave the court a far greater power. The power of judicial review, meaning they could call out laws if they went against the Constitution. So if the court could declare the Judiciary Act unconstitutional, they could declare any law Congress passed unconstitutional. You see, Lil John and the rest of the court had made the Supreme Court kind of a big deal. Dare I say, dare I say, this was the most important Supreme Court case in American history. I'll see you for the next Supreme Court case, jury. First of all, if you were wondering why that weird gif seemed a bit out of place in the video, that was sent to me by Dr. Ed from the YouTube channel Ed on Ed Tech. A bunch of Ed YouTubers decided for the holidays we're gonna do a gif exchange. Get it? Gif exchange? Ed sent me that one. And I sent one to Peter from the channel Stacks and Facts, and it's a really fun one. You should go check it out. I'm really excited to see how Peter incorporated my GIF into his video. Now, about Marbury v. Madison. I made a video about Marbury v. Madison in the summer of 2012. That's six and a half years ago. And this is the first video I just straight up redid completely. And I plan on doing the same thing for my old video about Plessy v. Ferguson as well. If you want to go back and watch 
watch my old videos, fair warning, they are even worse than my newest videos. So do you agree with me that Marbury v. Madison is the most important Supreme Court case in American history? Let me know below. And finally, this video is also a collaboration with the YouTube channel Jack Rackham. Jack is one of my favorite YouTubers. He's extremely underrated, very funny, kind of a genius actually. He just released a video about John Marshall and how he is pretty freaking important in American history. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays to you.